going on, ladies and gentlemen? Boys and girls, back again, another reaction video. Today, we're getting into Camila Cabello, Pretty When I Cry. This is track 13. We have one more after this, and then the project is done already. So, I'm going to jump right into it. Hope you're having a good day. Come by, be the boy. Put on my best dress to see you. Yes, sorry, baby. Me too. They should see me like this when I leave you. This one's got some potential. Okay, yeah. I'm liking so far. the way it came in it's kind of empty-ish and it gets cool. Be back. She had me worried there for a second. Okay, look, this for sure, I think is my second favorite on the project. I think up, Hot Uptown for sure is number one than this one. This one's a really good vibe too. And then some of the other ones fall behind. You know what? Actually, I think I love it might be number three. And I know when I initially did, I love it. I was like, eh, I don't know. But that one's grown on me a little bit. I think especially as I've gotten into the whole project and I've kind of, you know, experienced this new sound that she's done, this experimentation of what she's doing with the auto tune and the different types of instrumentals and, and sounds. I love it definitely fits a lot better with the project. And it, it just kind of I've gotten used to her new sound experimentation. And so that one has definitely grown on me. So I would say Hot Uptown, Pretty When I Cry. And then I love it, I think just off of the top. I mean, I would have to go through the songs and like actually pick, but I think that's what I would do. But this one, this has a little bit of like house trance kind of vibe to it. It's 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 very different with the instrumental and it, it definitely has a little bit of pop as well. But it's, it's got some house trance percussion, right? The way that the drums are. Especially with that build up towards the end with the snares and the kicks and the four to the floor and then it's just going into like eighth notes That definitely has a little bit more like house kind of build ups and transitions So this is also a hybrid of a few different things going on and I really like it I like the way that they structured it. I like the fullness I like the coming in and out and the emptying of the beat and the overall sound and then the fullness of it Like it comes in and out. The only thing I didn't really care for is right after the first chorus she goes into like this talking almost like very, it's very empty. There's like nothing going on except just her voice pretty much. And she's almost talking, but that was only for like four bars, I think. And then that was if through the whole song. So I could get past that. That's not that it's not a deal breaker. You know, I just didn't really care for that part, but I think I could enjoy the rest of the song so much and play it over that that little part becomes just kind of a whatever moment. But other than that, I like it. I like the ad libs. I like the effects. I like the blending of the vocals. 
I like the way that she's kind of almost nonchalantly singing on here and not really projecting and kind of almost slurring a little bit. Like she's added a little bit of flavor here with her vocal performance and got a little bit of a, a different vocal performance than I've gotten on some of the other songs. So again, she's managed to kind of do something new on the project and I've gotten a lot of new from her on this project, which is really cool. I mean, I know I have one more song left, but so far this whole project, I've gotten a lot of experimentation. I've got a lot of new sound and it all has sounded good in its in its own right. You know what I mean? Even if I don't really care for the song, the execution of her trying that sound and that specific style has sounded good. She did a good job of it. So I enjoyed this one. This one, and it's funny because it has a little bit of this sad tone to it because it's pretty when I cry. Like, obviously, it's not a happy thing, but the vibe of the song still makes you want to move. So it's almost like this. Maybe I'm in a sad mood, but let me feel better kind of thing. And like, let me relate to something sad, but also feel good about it. So it's a very interesting kind of contrast she's done there with what the song is actually about versus how it actually sounds, which is cool. Definitely give her some points there for that. But this one's a vibe. I definitely will be listening to this one again in addition to a few other ones on the project. But that'll do it for today's reaction video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment down below. It helps the channel grow. It helps the YouTube algorithm. If you're new here and you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button and drop a video every day. If you're not new here, welcome back. Appreciate the love and support. You know what to do? Leave some comments down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. If you're a fan of Camila Cabello, be sure to support her. Always support the artist or the content that you enjoy. So with all that being said, hope you're having a great day. Sending positive vibes your way. And until next time, I'm out. I'm gonna ride for you with